Well, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and I'm going to tell you, or I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done for my preparedness in the future, but also helps me out in my daily life and in my job. Of course, I watch the channel or the website Solar123 and batteries, or Solar1234 and batteries1234. This dude is an ultra right wing Republican. The fact that a long haired hippie type pinko fag like me could understand uh, a, a right leaning crazy ass Republican just blows my fucking mind. But it's because he deals with basically science, he deals with technology, he deals with things that can't be bent and then tries to bend them because unfortunately science can't be bent. I understand the human race is fucked. I understand that we fucked ourselves. I understand that the Anglo-Saxon race has basically destroyed the planet and it's going to take eh, 44 years for that to become very apparent. And that all of the Utes, the youths, are going to have to deal with that. But I'm going to show you what I've done for my uh, preparedness and my job this there or the other. Of course, I really like these uh, bulbs. Two watts, put out a lot of, lot, lot of light, man. A lot of light, man. Gonna get her done, boy. Woo! Yeah! Two watts equals 25 watts. And really in a grid down situation or in a, a situation where you need uh, light, two watts or 25 watt bulbs are really uh, great. Don't get them to where they're frosted. Get them clear and you'll get more light out of them. Uh, when it disperses light like that, unfortunately a lot of light gets reflected back. This there, the other, da, da, da. Anyway, these are... 2 watt bulbs and you can look at the uh, packaging. I put them off Amazon. Five dollars a piece, something like that. This is a 12 volt uh, basically tells you the voltage da, da 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 made by Innova. You can go to solar one two three four or batteries one two three four They've got this about 12 bucks. It's not hooked up to power now, so it's not reading anything. But it'll tell you a lot of things. It'll tell you about alternators. It'll tell you about just a buttload of things. But what you do is... You hook it up to a battery through a 12-volt, basically, multiplier that's hooked into a simple 12-volt system that has clamps on the end of it and you can you can basically read the health of your system while you're running the other 12 volt uh, products and it makes it work as I said I learned all this from a Republican who studies who's basically an engineer uh, so nothing anyone ever says is always right or always wrong you can learn something from even the dumbest son of a bitch. And if you're a hardcore Republican, that might apply to you. Other things I'm doing for my electrical preps. 1600 watt inverter. This is a Whistler inverter. Of course, when you buy it, you can buy it from Amazon. You can go to that Solar123 or, or whatever. Uh, we've got two fans cooling it. It comes with no no cords. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically power this Whistler 1600 uh, watt inverter off of uh, what? Jumper cables? You said jumper cables? Yeah, I'm going to do it off jumper cables and I'm going to see how it works. Um, of course, a lot of the jumper cables you buy now because of the long-haired hippie type pinko fags and the Republicans are basically fighting over everything. 
aren't solid copper because basically solid copper wires are too damn expensive and once you buy a set of solid copper uh, jumper cables like you used to be able to buy or anything else you know you're gonna pay a lot of money what they are now is they're aluminum with uh, a copper coating which is basically trailer trash technology if you live in a trailer I'm sorry uh, this there or the other but that's basically I live in Kentucky that's just the way it is Kentucky and Florida we're the trailer capital of the world I assume um, but anyway and I'm very racist if you haven't got that class oriented this there or the other if you haven't got that from my channel yet you're not getting me um, because my deal is to dominate and control so Whistler, best type inverter, 1600, doesn't come with shit. So we're going to do it with jumper cables. We're going to see how that works. Why do I need a 1600 watt inverter? We're going to roll that to the side. Because that there, yeah, boy, we're going to get our chainsaw going. Makita, buddy. 14 inch chainsaw, baby. <laughs> we're going to see how that works, too. Bought that off Amazon, too, man. Amazon Prime, man. Even a dumbass Republican can see how the v value of Amazon Prime. Uh, because, you know, that's the way it works. Amazon Prime is actually a great thing. I got the Makita 14 inch chainsaw because I do a lot of stuff as far as cutting branches, this, there, or the other. And uh, we're going to see how this works also. This goes into my preps. This goes into my job. I'm going to use this thing in a few minutes. We're going to see how it works, buddy. <laughs> You know, as I said, nobody's always right, nobody's always wrong. Uh, even a crazy ass Republican doesn't realize the world's about to end uh, in, a, in a very slow and painful process, you know, isn't always wrong. But, let's talk about it, buddy. Of course, we know that I use these quite a bit which are these multipliers which you can plug together and get more more of this there or the other <clears throat> we've got the Whistler 800 which is really a good inverter and, and actually for bang for the buck this is the best way to go if you don't have to run anything that requires 1600 watts or 1500 watts like that chainsaw uh, you're doing great and it comes with cables and alligator clips and this there or the other um, so if I was to do it, these are the two inverters that I would actually buy and use. Um, I'm not going to tell you that my refrigerator run off a 1600 watt inverter. Um, but since I have those high tech energy star LED long haired hippie type pingo fag refrigerator, probably will. Uh, the only problem is, is maybe my refrigerator has dual... Um, dual power sources so what runs the refrigerator doesn't run the doesn't run the freezer so we'll have to see how that works um, but anyway these are the two that I use I use this 800 watt inverter quite a bit any of the inverters that you of course plug into your uh, cigarette lighter will only go even no matter what they say will only do about 150 watts uh, because that's what's limited through your cigarette lighter if you're going to get anything higher than that, you're going to have to use uh, battery uh, clamps. And then, of course, with my electrical preps, this, that, or the other, my, I have these, like, instruction old type manuals, which this is for a, uh, of course, a 12-volt USB charger for the uh, cell phones. It goes, it does a couple different kinds of ways it goes which means a couple different kinds of ways is apple and then it also does everything else which is samsung um we have the battery monitor which is that and i have the instructions for all that in my in my preps so anyway um uh, from a long-haired type pinko hippie fag uh democrat don't ever judge people by their this that or the other because you can learn a lot of things from everyone 
And it's actually very important. It's a very important skill to be able to listen. Uh, you may not believe that. You may not value it. You may not do a lot of different things. But the art of listening is actually one of the most important skills that you can possibly have. Because as I said, no one's always right. And on the converse of that, no one's always wrong. So you can hear a lot of different things. Um, these Republicans that are wanting to drill, 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 and do all this other crap and use fossil fuels and this other bullshit and drive SUVs and, and these big trucks like I have my, S, my Chevrolet SS parked. I'm using it for storage right now. Uh, they're not always right, nor are they always wrong. They're going to burn because everyone's going to burn. That's just the way in which the world's going to work and this, there, or the other. Uh, but that's just, that's just part of the process. You know, civilizations don't go out with a bang. Unfortunately, they all go out with a whimper. And unfortunately, our civilization, even though we've, we have subsidized it with fossil fuels, we've subsidized it with the calories that come from fossil fuels, will not go out with a whimper like other ones. It will more, you know, it, it won't go out like Rome. Where Rome built the roads and they, the, the, everyone came in, da da da, and I'm not going to go through a big history of Rome. Ours will go out more with a whimper like that, more of a whimper than that. But the Romans all live. There's still people living there, there are always people living there, and they just did something different, hence the Dark Ages. Uh, this civilization that we've created through the uh, use of fossil fuels and the calories and this, that, or the other, of course, we'll go through a dark age period, but the information will be lost and this, that, or the other. And I just want you to be on the right side of things. Uh, because if you believe all of this crap, and I, I, I've been, you know, I went to college back when a lot of you people were uh, embryos uh, or eggs and sperm that haven't been combined. And that was, you know, back in the days of, of, of just basic environmentalism, this, that, or the other, ecosystem, understanding, da, da, da. Well, this is today. We've passed the tipping points. The actual real effect on the environment is worse than any case study had ever predicted and we're moving forward and unfortunately it takes 44 years for the effect to be fully apparent as to what we have done to the environment and the next 44 years are going to be a rockin mess I just want all my subscribers, I want people to really take this shit very seriously and understand the fact of what they're going through. Because we're going to be probably put through a... The majority of people will go through a, a time period that, that mimics the Dark Ages. There will, of course, be an upper class, this, there, the other, da, da, da. I'm sorry that I have the advantages that I do, but I'm also not sorry and for because the advantages that I've been given in my life gives me the ability to understand the future and to understand that and to predict what's going on and to affect change. Uh, maybe not change that affects it in, a, in a, a mass scale, but it affects it in a micro scale. This is a microeconomic event that I'm able to affect. It's, I'm, not, I'm not able to affect the economy in a macroeconomic scale because those are people that are way beyond caring. They're users. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is what I have done to prepare today to take energy, move it around, change it, and to uh, do this, there, or the other. And if you're a Democrat and you don't listen to some Republicans, and you don't listen to Republicans, you're wrong. If you're a Republican and don't listen to Democrats, you're also wrong. Um, and that's the word for the day, man. You have to, to work on the art of listening.
Have a good one. Peace out.